In this video, we'll talk about two-string method in Java. Not exact two-string means. Let's say I have a class, and we'll name this class as student. In this class, let me have two variables. We'll have a roll number, and we'll have a string method, which a string variable which is s name. Okay, so I have a roll number and a s name. So roll number is int and s name is string. Let me find a main function here. And in this, let me create object of student. Okay, so we'll say student uh, s1 equal to new student. Okay, and uh, let me just create a constructor so that I can assign the values. So when, when, when I create the object, which is s1, at that instance, this, val this value should get some, this variable should get some value. So what I mean by that is, let's say I have a, a constructor student which accepts two, uh, two variable, uh, string s name, and then we can assign values. So this roll number will go here, and this s name will go here. So instead of typing the constructor by yourself, you can take the help of NetBeans. So what you can simply do is you can say enter, alt insert. When you say alt insert, it will give you this option, or you can just simply say right click, insert code, and in this, we have a constructor option here. In this constructor, I mentioned I, I want to go with these two parameters, generate, so that you can will you will get a constructor with these two parameters, so that you can assign this value here and this value here. That means we have to send values. So we'll say values is let's say eleven, roll number is eleven, and the name we are sending here is let's say Navin. Okay, and once I Done with that, let me just print the output. Now, how to print output is we can simply say s1 dot roll number. Now, this will print a uh, roll number and uh, then s1 dot s name. So, here we are assigning, assigning the values and then here we are fetching the values and printing. So, if I run this code now, the output you are getting is 11 and 9. Uh, start up, yeah, it's 11 and 9, right. But let's say, instead of printing, I don't want to print individual values. I just want to say print S1. I want to print an object which is S1. Now you can see there is no error. Unfortunately, this is an object, right? Or this is a reference. And you are trying to print a reference. And the output we are expecting here is it should print the values of S1 variables. So S1 has roll number, S1 has S name. So it should print the values, right? And when I run this, the output will be viewed, and the output is this. Now, uh, we can guess something. This is our package name, okay? This is our class name, and what's that? Let's see what is this now. Now, first understand what happens when you try to print a reference. Now, in Java, every class, let's say student, this will extend a class called as object. So this indirectly extends a class called as object. So every class in Java extends object class. That means this, when you try to print a object, it will call a method called as toString. By default, it will call a method called as toString. Then you will say, in our class, we don't have any method called as toString, right? But since the property of inheritance this toString method belongs to this object class. So if I go to this toString, just press Control and click. You can say this toString method belongs to which class? It is object class, right? And see what we are printing. We are printing get class dot get name, which means it will it will get the uh, name of the class with the package name, and then it will fetch the hash code. Now, what exactly hash code means? Whenever you create object in Java, it will go into a a virtual box or some some type of uh, memory and and you can say box and that box will have a value in that box you can have multiple objects and each box will have a unique value a unique code that's called as hash code okay and then that hash code will be in binary format you want in hexadecimal format so we are writing this to hexa string that means the output we got is because of this two string method right it's because we are writing this thing what if, instead of returning this thing, what if I return, that means let me override that method. How to override, we have to say public, the signature string, to string, and now, 
So we are we are overwriting this, right? So you can see we are getting a notification that you are overwriting this method which comes from object class. So we can even write a uh, override annotation which is not compulsory but it's better to write. So it's not compulsory. So in this we will not write this. So we have a uh, public string to string and what we have to return is we'll say we'll return roll number uh, in then plus then in double quotes plus and then it will print as name. So what it will print is it will return a roll number colon name. So this roll number is 11 and name is uh, Naveen, right? If I run this now, we don't want this because this is uh, by default and by default it will call two string method. So we don't have to write it. That means if you, want to, if you try to print S1, it will call two string method. And now if I run this, see the output is 11 and Naveen. We are printing the same thing it's s1 but this time instead of calling object class to string it's going for overriding in this we are calling our own method which is to string right now see the output you are getting is 11 and Navin, right but it should be proper right it should print roll number is 11 and s name is Navin. instead of that what we can do is we can simply remove this and we will ask NetBeans to give you that. So right click, insert code, click on to string for both the variables and generate. You can see Java itself gives you a um, uh, return which is student roll number equal to this, s name equal to this. And if I run this, the output will be much better than the last output. This is student class object, roll number is 11, and s name is Navin, right? So that means when in Java, when you try to print the object, it will call the to string method. If your class don't have two string method, it will it will jump to object class two string. And that's it. This is this is how we use two string. Thanks for watching and do subscribe for further videos.